I'm sure you've heard of Grow a Garden, a game with 32 billion visits and was only made in three days. But it got me thinking, just how fast can you make a Roblox game? With tens of thousands dropping on the platform every day, I can't help but feel like I'm not making games quick enough to become a full-time developer. So I'm testing five of the fastest ways to make a Roblox game and getting my friends to judge which is the best. Starting with method one, good old fashioned, just do it yourself. All right, let's get freaking going. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I've totally got this. But that might be a total lie because each game I make should take less and less time as we go on. And the winner, well, I was not expecting it. What's your favorite game? My favorite game, I like the... Uh... But before we can get to the super quick methods, let's see how little old me is doing. So I had this idea for a fun game I wanted to make and I thought I'd use this video as an excuse to make it. Essentially, I wanted to make a combination of be crushed by a speeding wall and the floor is lava. The player's goal is simple. Run to the other side, don't get touched by hot liquid. And with great haste, I began scripting up a round system with an intermission, but players were going to need to spawn somewhere when joining. So naturally, I made the most incredible lobby to ever grace this platform. Bro, watch me get a Bloxy award for this. If Steal a Brain Rot won best creative direction, then surely I have a chance. And then I did something that may surprise some of you. I started working on the map early. I planned for the game to be able to select a random map each round as well. We need to get those extra details in if we want human skill to beat the games we make later on. Keeping that in mind, I spruced up the lighting and finally added our lava. Here we go. Now, remember how this game is about avoiding the rising lava? Well, right now, there's not exactly anywhere to survive on the map. The plan was to add some trees, buildings, massive hills, dirt, pillars. That's really, that's really it. I'd like to add more, but I want to make sure we use our time efficiently. We cannot be dilly-dallying. Yeah, I was kind of sacrificing the quality of the game, but building was not my strong suit. And I was honestly just focused on not losing to these other four methods, because some of them are genuinely insane. So I set up some little jumps to spread around the map. Coded the lava so that you actually die when touching it and set up a status UI element so that players know when the freaking heck the lava is gonna rise. With all that done, I thought that testing the game at this point might be a good idea. So ready, dude. I'm in the festive mood right now. I got my wicked Christmas bling. No lava touching me today. And uh, yeah, that was true because what the- oh, right, yeah. Second time's a charm. That was a lie. Third time's a charm. Whoa, whoa, oh, no, there I go. For some reason, the lava rose twice at once. Well, quite clearly, this was not going amazing. I mean, the third time is usually a charm. Maybe I was pushing on way too quick, ruining the game just to finish it with a lower time. Nah, that's not it. I think I'm just stupid. Oh, wait, look. There we go. That was indeed a very easy fix. So if that left number goes back to zero, it means we fixed it. Yeah, there we go. The game was fixed and potentially complete. All we had to do was beat one round to make sure it all works. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, nice, okay. Our first of five games was complete and our final time was one hour, six minutes and 17 seconds. And converting that to minutes is actually a total of six, six minutes. Yeah, you thought, you thought I was gonna do the thing, but this is just the beginning as we have faster and faster methods leading us up to Oh, I don't even have the final method yet. Hey there, friend! Whoa, oh, oh, I don't like that. Sounds like you need help retrieving something? Uh, yeah, the final method to make a Roblox game as quickly and hastily as humanly possible. I can go get it for you. Uh, sure, that would, that'd be nice. My name's Gunk, by the way, but everyone calls me fucking free. Yeah, no, that tracks. Well, let me go off and get you that final method. All right, man, you do that. That's great. Great stuff. What, what just happens? <laughs> While Gunk goes to find what I need for the final method, it was time to start method two, free models. Method two, free models. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what's in trending. Oh, I steal a brain rot stuff. Brain rot pack three, steal a brain rot map. If you've watched my channel before, you already know that I've made my own steal a brain rot game. So there was absolutely no chance that I was gonna make another. Right, so we have plots. How do the scripts work? And while I try to figure out how to use this free model, subscribe. We're trying to be Earthlord to 100k and- Dude, I already made it. Uh, what? Yeah, man, I'm at 100k. Oh, well, uh, if you guys are enjoying the video, feel free to leave a pity subscriber. Anyway, after a couple seconds or so, it was safe to say I was pretty confused. Okay, maybe we should check out the tutorial, <laughs> see what we're dealing with here. After watching this tutorial by Twin Blaze, I realized I was missing another free model. Steal a thing. Okay. After getting everything I needed, I was ready to push on with- Whoa, that's a lot of errors. Looks like I'm gonna have to fix a lot of stuff. You might think that a free model game would be quicker than method one, but you also need to trust that whoever made this free model is one, 
competent and knows what they're doing, and two, isn't using the free model as a way to give you a virus. Unfortunately, it was looking like the first point was in play, but nonetheless, I persevered and the game should now be in a playable state. Right, let me test the game. We got things spawning. We got a gold thing. We got a thing, a thing, a couple more things. We got a human. I got some dodge. What if we buy one? <gasps> yes, there we go. Everything seemed to check out, but you know, I'm not a loser. Of course, I'm not going to leave the game like this and call it a day. For this game to be considered complete, I wanted to add three things. Add my own characters, mutations, and rarities. So after placing in some fancier shops from the toolbox, what's this? I love steal a brain rot. Shut up. It was time to create my own characters to steal, but what would we be stealing? I'm going to change the name. Let's call it Steal a Duckable because I'm such an egotistical maniac. So I dragged in this goober and began to make some variations. Maybe Cheese Duckable. Maybe this is Cheese Duckable. This one shall be known as Noobable. Is there any way we can make this red? I don't think so. Oh my god, we can. Four characters were now created, and I created two new rarities, Radical and Wicked. But I still had to come up with at least one mutation. Something unique. Something never seen before in any mutation-based game. What about sad? Let's just do sad. And let's quarter any value it generates, because they're too sad to make money. There we go. Let's just go test the game and make sure everything is good. They're on the ground, but they're here. Which was then followed by some warnings. So after some changes, I gave it a second go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's buy some guys. Oh, oh okay. They've become more Holes. Oh, they're surfacing. Did did they just die? At this point, you can kind of see a lot of the problems that come with using free models. It's convenient, sure. I mean, I use a lot of cool toolbox assets for my maps, but when it comes down to entire game systems, even a decently experienced developer like me is facing so many issues. Not to mention that the way the game is structured is questionable. All we can hope is that it at least took less time than the first method. All right, here they freaking come. By you, it's by you. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, the little sad one, he's so sad. I'm gonna imprison him. Oh, no. I think that's just done, right? Indeed it is. But before I show you how long this one took, allow me to introduce to you Cartwheel, the sponsor of today's video. Cartwheel is an animation tool to help people like you create top-notch 3D character animations. With its ability to plug straight into apps you're already using, like Blender and Unity, it's a great tool for prototyping so you can focus on all the fun, creative stuff, like spending days at a time looking at this screen. So I jumped into the studio to see what was up. Oh, okay. This is cool. We can pick our own characters. Nice. Axel, Lynn, Manny, Manny, Mark, ma Math. Well, like, like calculus. Cartwheel has three options when it comes to animating. Text to animation, video to animation, and an entire library of animations that have been created by others. But I was very interested in video to animation. So after uploading a sick video, I dropped it in to see what would happen. Whoa, okay, okay. That's cool. And after scrolling through the motion library to check out some other animations, I hit download, selected Blender, and it's as simple as just dragging it in and clicking that little button. The process is super quick, super easy, and is great if you're wanting to prototype games fast. So check the link below if you're interested in trying Cartwheel for free. And actually, speaking of fast, just how fast was this method? The final time for this game is 53 minutes and 39 seconds. We're not quite close to a super fast time, but I can assure you that this final method is going to blow your mind. Speaking of, I wonder how Gunk's doing. <laughs> Almost. I, uh, I think I just need to have a lie down. With two of her five methods done, it was time to crack on with our next. Tycoon kits. Let's get going in three, two, one. Okay, let's figure out how this actually works. Okay. Uh, seems like I was all good to go and not confused whatsoever. So I started off by grabbing a map, slapping in our tycoon, and slowly realizing how much of a tedious process this would be. I have to change this as well. Oh, that's bad. That's annoying. If you have never used a tycoon kit before, allow me to explain how to add a single item to the game. <coughs> Build the item, place it into your tycoon, give it a name, create a button, give the button a humanoid, add a price, add what you need to buy first before the button appears, link it to your item, rename your button, and add the price again separately. I have to do that for every single item. It started to seem like this wouldn't be as fun as I hoped. So just to make it a bit more wacky and zany, I'm changing course, I got a better idea. This is now minimum wage cute tycoon. My plan was simple. Droppers would be replaced with workers creating the blocks to sell. Meanwhile, upstairs, I would have a mysterious boss overseeing it all. So I began implementing our workers and picked a more suiting environment. Then after adding a second floor, more walls, and a heck ton of money, I finally implemented the big man himself. Wait. 
Mafia Spongebob? Oh, we need him. There we go. Here's the big man behind this whole operation. There was only one thing now to do. Complete the tycoon. Let's make some freaking money. And despite the little work involved in this method, playing this game turned out to be a lot of fun. I've always loved button tycoons. I used to grow up on super old ones like Ninja Dojo Tycoon and Time Travel Tycoon. I guess you could say this game is sort of a tribute, if that's not too insulting. But before I knew it, and here we go. Yeah, there we go. So tycoon complete. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, Gunk. You, you're where? I'm literally being pulled into a fucking black hole! Dude, I, I don't care. Just get back with the final method. Anyway, let's move on to method four. One that I have some interesting thoughts about. This is Lemonade AI, the tool we'll be using for method four. But before we can start the timer, we need to set it up. Fix simple scripts, speed up my coding, spend less hiring scripters. Okay, fuck us, I guess. After installing their plugin and connecting my project to the AI, we could finally begin. All right, in three, two, one, let's go. Our plan for this game was simple. A round-based obby game that randomly generates a new course each round. All right, let's get prompting. <laughs> Guys, I'm a prompt engineer, look. One prompt later and the AI got to work. After that, I had to wait around four minutes for it to be done, also known as 6% of one hour. Was the code any good? Well, what on, what, why is it done like this? Well, that's just stupid, what is this? Yeah, I wasn't impressed. Either way, we now had the main game mechanics done, but of course we need the obby modular pieces. And who better to ask than AI? All right, so I've asked for classic Roblox lava jumps. Let's see how it did. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. I decided to instead do it myself. Here are the five modules I've got. So hypothetically, if the AI isn't totally stupid as shit, the game should work. Let's give it a test. Okay, so here we are on our lovely spacious AI lobby. As we can see, the course is quite impossible at the moment. Lemonade was having some issues. I let it know why it had to be changed and it seemed like all was well. So I gave it a test run and there we go, I'm the winner. Oh, okay. Method four was complete. But before we get to the time it took, can I just say how much I don't want this one to win? Like, holy f AI does not know how to code, let alone build. Look, if you want to learn how to code, instead of being a brain dead lobotomy that treats chat GPT like the second coming of Christ, stay away from AI. I know this isn't an AI video, so I'll just quickly list all my complaints here. But in the end, maybe what I think doesn't even matter because this game's time was 20 minutes, 20 seconds, half the time of the last method. Well, that sucks, I hate that. Well, let's hope that this final method is less scummy. It was finally time for the final method and- Duckable! Dude, you look terrible. I got the final method! Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I just got it from the Roblox Marketplace. What? What? Yeah, it was it was just here. I just, I clicked a button and I got it. This, this is pretty funny. It looks like you just used it all that for nothing. Yes, yeah, it sucks, man. Gunk? Uh, okay. Well, we have the final method, one I've heard to be known as a cheat for making games. Slightly hesitant, I decided to start the timer and give it a go. Method five, time to go in three, two, one, go. So here's what we'll be using. This is a plugin called Simulator Generator. I was told can create an entire game for you just by filling out some boxes. I was very skeptical of this, so it's time to see if it's true or not. Let's go collector. How much monetization? A hundred, obviously. Amount of areas, one and seven. Seven, generate. Whoa, wait, wait, hold on. Oh my God, did it actually just... It actually just created everything. This was insane to me, but surely it doesn't work, right? Is it gonna work if we run it? Oh, the music. I began collecting some money and went to test if the pet hatching system also worked. His ears just fell off. Is that it? Is it like, it's just a whole game. It's a whole game and it took like a single click. Something about this didn't feel right. Between me opening the plugin and clicking generate, this game was made in eight seconds. I didn't want to show this to my friends. I didn't really make it. And honestly, it was the same with most of these methods. Relying on AI and using game templates is not what I do. And that's how so many games drop so quick. Why I felt so behind. I mean, I shouldn't be so bothered about making a game quickly if it's not gonna be good. But now that leaves us with only one question. Which of these games is the best? I still need to show these off to my friends. What if they pick a winner that I didn't really make? One that I don't care about? Remember Method 1, the Rising Lava game? That was an idea I genuinely loved. I want it to win. But before we figure out if I get beaten by these other four methods, let's just give Method 1 a bit more time. Let's truly see if speed is the only thing that matters. 
kicking off our method one renovation speed run, I wanted to improve the lobby. So I added some trees, crates, and a lava fountain. Honestly, it was looking peak. After that, I spruced up our grasslands map, adding some iconic Roblox landmarks and a couple trees. But the map selection feature I made wasn't being shown off with just one map. I had to think of another, something spectacular, innovative, other big fancy words. Nah, who am I kidding? I just splurged cacti all over the place. That's, that's an interesting sentence. But there was one more thing missing. I don't know about you guys, but I love games where I can attack people. I play something evil will happen solely for ruining people's day. I am the evil and I will happen. So after a bit of pondering, I remembered something. Wait, what if I bring back the freaking slap pan? That would be sick. I grabbed the pan from my old game and coded a whole new tool system, created a brand new swing animation and gave it a test. Yes, that is so awesome. Let's go. It looks like the game was ready to go. It did add an additional three and a half hours to the time, but the new features should hopefully bag us the win. So I think it's time to call up my friends and see which game prevails. Let me get some ships and some snacks to make yeah, here sure- we go. I'm about to do it, ready? Here we go. I just broke my back. These are my friends, Bloxy, Python, and Cash, who are about to play all five games without knowing how they were made and choosing the final winner. So it's time to start with, let's play this fun game. Let's play this game. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, oh, the cash control. does work. I will say that. This, this, okay, this so is the incredible. game is functional. Oh no. You already did? Yes. What, what cash is there as well? What? We're just built different. Next game. Uh, the next one is unavailable. Next game. Minimum wage cube tycoon. Okay. Oh, I like this. Oh, oh, oh. He just, he just died. Oh, workplace incident. Oh, SpongeBob. <laughs> I got SpongeBob. Get out of the way, Doggy Boy. I need to see this. Oh, oh this is tough. This is tough. Oh, you're hopping, you're hopping. Here. It's like a family portrait. There we go. Yeah. Next game. Oh, my <laughs> God. Elon <laughs> Duckable. Save me, Duckable. <laughs> Save me! No, it's my duckable. My duckable, get away! No! Duckable! <laughs> Give me that red <laughs> Alright, I'm happy to go to the next game though. Yeah. I actually like this game. <laughs> No, you don't. Next game. Next game. Oh, I could tell this one's gonna be peak. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, this actually might be peak. Please rise. Oh! oh. No, please. <laughs> no, I waited too much. Why, why do I have this? What? <laughs> And while we were playing the Lava Run game, I noticed something. It was honestly the most fun game out of the five. During this video, I've been so bothered about trying to make games so fast that I sacrificed making them fun and unique. By taking my time with Method 1, the game had become significantly more enjoyable. I added a stupid pan to hit your friends with, made the lobby look super nice, I made the map slightly better, I think. At this point, I don't even care if my stupid friends are going to prefer Steal the Duckable. This game is awesome, and it wasn't made with laziness or by holding AI's hand and sucking my thumb. It was made with passion, with my freaking brain, man. And those are the best kind of games. So surely Method 1 can bag the win. Real Dad. talk, Lava Run was actually like the only game I genuinely had fun playing. I had all the fun all the time because it was about the friends we made along the way. Oh, yes. Here's my ranking for the best game of all time. Yeah. Really? SpongeBob was <laughs> that big of a difference? <laughs> Yes. What's your favorite game? My favorite game, I like the um, the minimum wage SpongeBob type. Okay. <laughs> Remember to check out Carbill down below. It's just down there. Just get down to scroll. Just scroll. Uh -huh.